structure, an altitude of just under 1,800 meters where we're standing now, which is higher than Johannesburg and Pretoria. So if you put those three things together, it makes an ideal location for an observatory. And they transferred four telescopes from the three observatories. And to see the four, you need to just turn around for a second. It's the big flat-topped one on the right-hand side, where this lady's working at the moment, uh, from Pretoria, a very famous, very old telescope. It dates back to 1938, and still used every night of the year. And she can prove it, because she's using it tonight. That one, and these three almost identical buildings right in front of us. These are the four South African telescopes that opened the observatory back in 1974 when we closed the others down. And they are used every night of the year. There are no astronomers living on site here. They come from all around the world to use them. Roof. They book a, a minimum of six months in advance for the chance of a one-week session. That's all she's got. She's lost two nights already last night and the night before. So when you come to Siddle and you say, oh, I'll come all the way from Cape Town and I can't see this. You've got to think about people like this. Do they stay in town when they come? No, 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 they stay on site. I'm going to say that now. You've got to feel sorry for people like this whose job it is and they're here for one week only and, and they've already lost two nights. So it's these people we feel sorry for. So six months in advance, one week session, spend the daytime sleeping in a, in a hostel back where we were. There was a yeah, sign there. Uh, come up here and observe throughout the night. At the end of the week, they take their data back with them wherever they came from, which is Taiwan at the moment, and spend the next six months analyzing it before new ones arrive. And it's like that, week in, week out, Christmas included, right through the year, the place never closes. And it soon became famous uh, as an observatory because of the conditions, which haven't been great for the last couple of nights. We can't guarantee them, but 80% is pretty good. Um, and that's when these other countries behind me started to ask if they could bring their telescopes here. Now, they're all highlighted in that pink uh, brochure you've got. I'm just going to zip through them quickly. The first one on the left-hand side here belongs to Korea. Two right in front of us belong to Poland. These three belong to the United Kingdom, to England. The right-hand side one, the silver one, you perhaps can't tell from there, but I can. It's open right now. And if you see where it's pointing, and look at the shadows and the time of the day, it's fairly obvious what it's pointing at. It's a solar telescope and it monitors the vibrations of the sun. Um, Birmingham University in England. Then the three newest ones, those white ones on the far side there belong to the United States. Then on the right hand side of the road, the first of those small white ones also belongs to the United States. 